Scotland should be an amazing country for all children and young people to grow up and learn in. And for many, it is. But to make it the best place for all children and young people, they need to have all of their rights respected all of the time. You might not know that children have the same human rights as adults, and extra ones too. That's because the United Nations sees childhood as a special time to learn, play and develop. So the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child lists all the things that children are entitled to as they grow up. Things like the right to food and clothes, to an education, to somewhere safe to live and to play and rest. The Convention gives each one a number and calls them an article. The Scottish Government wants to make sure that these rights are understood and recognised by everyone. And that includes the people that provide public services, like teachers, council workers, doctors and police officers. They have a special responsibility towards the rights of children. Children and young people have lots of ideas about how public services in Scotland can fulfil their responsibilities and make their rights real and they know what it feels like when they don't think their rights are being respected. Let's take a look at examples of both in our community. I'm Taylor. A while ago I went to my local play area. I saw a notice that said the council were going to knock it down to build some new flats, but it's the only play area near us. We won't have anywhere to play anymore. Taylor is worried their right to play isn't being respected. Before the council made this decision, they could have listened to the views of children, including Taylor. Taylor wants their council to think about their responsibility to children's rights when making important decisions like this, and how closing the play area could impact on Taylor's rights. The council could use a special tool called a Child's Rights and Wellbeing Impact Assessment, or CREA, to help them do this. My name is Mohammed. I get uneasy when Ramadan comes around because my school doesn't get what fasting actually means for me. Plus, it hasn't taken our need to pray seriously. We've never been given space for it. Muhammad has the right to enjoy and practice his own culture, language and religion, and doesn't feel his school respects this. Muhammad knows about his rights and wants his school to do more to help him enjoy them. Then he would be able to enjoy Ramadan. So what could they do differently? The school could listen to his experience of fasting, think about how they can make the Ramadan period more comfortable for Muslim pupils, and consider ideas to support pupils who fast and pray. I'm Sean. I'm worried about the environment, so I like to do my bit by picking up litter and trying to recycle everything that I can. But I'm not sure what happens to the recyclables once they've been picked up. How can I find that out? Sean got in touch with his local council asking to understand their recycling policies. They sent him information, written in a way he could understand. His council knew all about children's rights and are taking steps to respect them, including remembering his right to reliable and accessible information. This is just one way they're making this right real for the children in their community. Sean is pleased he got the information he needed. My name is Fatima. I basically look after my mum, who's ill, and my brothers and sisters too. It's hard work and I'm worried about missing school and not having enough money for the things we need. How can I get help? Fatima spoke to her teacher about her worries. Her teacher explained that she might be a young carer and her family may be entitled to help and financial support from the government. Her teacher also told her there were other people who could assess Fatima's situation, whether she's getting all the help that she needs and is entitled to. Fatima didn't know anything about her rights before, but she does now, <laughs> and she's glad they're being respected. There are lots more rights that belong to children and young people, and lots more ways public services can make sure they can enjoy all of their rights all the time. They could make sure their staff know about the rights of children. They could raise awareness of them with children, young people and their families too. They could listen to their views on things that are important to them. They are the rights holders after all. By listening to children and young people about how it feels to have their rights respected, they'll never be short for ideas on how to keep making rights real for every child in every community. If we all do this, Scotland really will be the best place in the world to grow up. 
This film was made in partnership with young people in Scotland. They shared their experiences, assisted with the scripting and visual look of the film. A number of young people even provided their voice for the film's duration. Many thanks to the young people who took part and the organisations who helped the young people participate. These include Parent Network Scotland, Partners in Advocacy, Renfrewshire Youth Services and Young Carers. To find out more about UNCRC and children's rights in Scotland, follow the link on screen or search children's rights at gov.scot.